Vicky, your expertise and flair for events has culminated in several International Catering Excellence Awards, more than any other caterer on the African continent. Take us back to the beginning. Where did it all start? The first time I went to uh, the International Caterers Association Conference in the USA, um, I had just kind of found my feet with the business and I saw the entries and I thought to myself, you know what? We do amazing, amazing work. Let me enter, let me enter and see what we do. Cause I knew that the work that we do is of a very high caliber and we were doing stuff that was so innovative. And I think because in South Africa, we couldn't always get the type of ingredients that we wanted or the type of decor that we wanted. I used to go out and create it and I could do something that was so unique so exciting and then we started getting the recognition in the US. So I won two awards in one year. It was kind of a, a big deal. At the time it was mostly uh, caterers and event professionals from the US that were entering. So when I kind of burst onto the scene it was very exotic and very exciting and then every year we've been kind of entering the awards and the recognition has been phenomenal. As market leaders, you have had the privilege of designing and producing events for some of the most prominent global personalities. What is your approach to setting the perfect table for a high profile celebrity guest? With events, it really is about emotion. It's about an experience. So we don't sell food and we don't sell flowers and we don't sell decor. We sell experiences. And for me, that has been so rewarding because at the end of the day, as much as I try and translate, um, you know, a theme, it really has to be about the client. It's got to be about the person that's celebrating. It's got to be about the brand. And that is the most important thing for me. And I really immerse myself in the brand or the client that I'm working with. I, I do study them a lot. I look to see what the, the, the brand's about, what the couple is about. Do they love Italy? Are they, you know, do they love sailing? Do they love the beach? Are they city people? And then I put myself in that role. I really try to understand very deeply what their needs are. We've done events for sports personalities, ministers. I mean, every South African president from Nelson Mandela himself, which, um, you know, I think that was a massive privilege because, you know, when you say, what did I expect? I expected um, with him and Prince Harry, which we've done events for twice. Um, so we're very excited about that. But with both of them, considering their stature and considering how incredible they are in everything that they've done, the overriding feeling that one gets from them is their sincere humility. I don't get starstruck. I've met everybody, you know, all the singers and dancers and talk show hosts. I've, I've met them all. Those are kind of the moments that stand out a lot. You live a life imbued with creativity and passion for global fashion, architecture, art, business and contemporary design. What is the essence of your inspiration that shines forth in your work? I always like my guests to feel that they're special, that they're looked after and that there's a little detail that's a surprise you know i love that so you'll see on my tables there's always something that's unexpected and so i always would start with a beautiful tablecloth or a stunning table you know very often we use what our clients have in their homes or in their boardrooms um, and then build from there i love luxurious linen um, so patterns and colors i normally go a little bit more neutral on my tablecloths because i like to keep it a little bit flat and then obviously build on my crockery, my, my cutlery, my glassware. I like to put a couple of glasses on the table as well, just for accent and a little bit of depth as well. And then always impressive flowers, um, candles are no brainer. And, and you know, these are just all little party tricks. I'm known to always have music in the house. I love music um, and I like to theme my events as well. We lost our father when we were very young, myself and my sister. And my mother brought us up as a single woman in South Africa. She didn't speak much English and she didn't have, you know, this amazing network of family and friends that we've been privileged to grow up with. And so things were tough. And she really was very resilient and hardworking. And, you know, these are qualities that she passed on to myself and my sister, Myra. 
and we just don't know any other way. We know that in order to achieve something, you need to commit yourself, you need to dedicate yourself and you need to deliver. And I think that's the most important thing. And, you know, something we've picked up from her is that if you give your word, you need to do what you said you were going to do. So she is to this day still very supportive, very excited, you know, about every project that I do. She always encourages me. My wish for this festive season, the new year 2021, for my family is that we have health, that we have love, and that we are united around a table as we always were, just like the old days, loving each other, laughing, having celebrations, and just those quiet moments too. And my wish for the world is that we have peace, love, health, and especially unity. Unity for Cyprus, that's a subject very, very close to my heart and something that I hope for and will fight for until the end. And unity throughout mankind.